Thank you for tuning into Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Today I have a amplifier board that's labeled on the other side Pluto, so I think it's a Maxonics um, possible Z Audio board. Just a two channel uh, amplifier that is presenting itself with a uh, protection condition which has been kind of a challenge to find um, it's using the IRFZ 44 V's on the power supply it's using the BD 912's and the BD 911's on the output um, there's no shorts in the audio pre-driver section here and so I figured I would just start doing some probing around on this board to determine if I can find this uh, area that's got a short in it. So when I try to start it, the 44Vs, would they would heat up. Not significantly, but they would get warm. And then it would go into protection. So that tells me there's a short on the output. And I've already tested uh, the BD output transistors, so there's no shorts there. I've checked the uh, bias transistors, no shorts. Uh, so what I started doing was checking the resistance of the plus minus rails here. And when I was probing the rails, I was like, hmm, something's very strange about the way this is responding. Like, there's a, there's a short somewhere that's discharging this rail quite rapidly. So what I do is I follow, I follow the output of the rectifier. And while this was on the scope, the positive rail voltage would build nice and then fall pretty steady but the negative rail would jump down real quick and then jump right back up so that told me there was a short in the negative rail so I follow the negative rail here and I get to the rail capacitors so here's the positive rail capacitor which is responding the way that I was seeing when I was checking the resistance between between the positive and negative rail voltages at the rectifier. So there's the positive capacitor. And here's the negative capacitor. So you'll see here the negative rail capacitor is reading 14.4 ohms. One way and 10.94 ohms the other. So it could be a shorted capacitor which based on the age of this board could could be li uh, likely or it could be I do have a single trace here that runs off to the uh, that is going to be a yeah it runs off to a resistor right here which is reading 4 k or 400 ohms let me get the value of that resistor here so it's red yellow brown bust out my little color wheel here I don't have these memorized that's way too much information red yellow brown so 240 ohms So that's not where I'm getting my that's not where I'm getting my short. So I'm suspecting this capacitor right here to have a short across it. Fourteen ohms 
on the negative rail capacitor and then we have well now our positive rail capacitor is charged so it's not showing let me see if I can reverse it here and we'll get a reading on that there we go so and we're up in the 2 to 3k 4k on the positive rail capacitor so I'm thinking it's probably about time to remove this negative rail capacitor test that and see if that's my culprit so let me remove that and I'll be right back with you alright so I removed the two rail capacitors and I was still showing a 10 ohm short between the uh, secondary common and the negative rail so what I did is I eliminated all the paths on the negative rail that potentially could be leading back to the uh, pre-drive area and as I was going back I just didn't see that 10 ohm short none of the transistors were shorted um, if you watch my previous videos I like to use resistance quite a bit to uh, find those low value shorts in components and then I disconnected the resistor going back to uh, pin 2 of the TL594 so what I did is I traced back that negative rail all the way back to the TL594 pin 2 and I lifted the resistor there and I still showed the 10 ohm short uh, it's like it's like chasing a ghost until you make it so far back you're back to the transformer well come to find out the rectifier the rectifier and remember uh, how I noted that I was showing that quick spike on the negative rail and then dropping back to zero on the negative rail so I knew the issue was in the negative rail so if you take a resistance value of this rectifier there's my short for you so this rectifier has a short across the AC input side and the negative output so let's uh, Let's see what we read here in diode mode. Oh, yep. 106. So, that just goes to show that you just need to hunt down a short, eliminate its path until you eventually get to the path where it shows itself so I need to figure out if one of these is even still available so hopefully I can find another one uh, so I'm unable to fire this up for you guys and show you the completion of this board uh, just due to the fact that this rectifiers probably got to be hunted down somewhere hopefully someone has one and uh, I will see what I can do here. So just as reference, this is the MB102F rectifier. So what I'll do is I'll we'll, uh, look for one online and see if I can get one. If not, I'll let the customer know that uh, this rectifier is uh, damaged and uh, let them know that it'll be back on the road for them. So, I do thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like repair content. I will uh, release videos as just as much as possible and answer any questions that come around. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.